Hi, this is Jason from Family Farm Livestock, and I'm here today with some of our breeding gilts. And even though we have a scale, I kind of wanted to show you the way I used to do this when I was younger. Um, how to get a good idea of the weight by taking two measurements. Um, first one is along the top line. From the point of the head here between the ears, back to the tail head. And I use a string because it's a lot easier to just use a string, clamp it off with my finger, and then take the measurement rather than try to read the tape measure on a pig that's moving around. And so for the length, we got 46 inches. And the other measurement is the heart girth, which is around the entire body, just behind the front legs. And once again, you don't need to pull it tight, but pull the slack out. Clamp onto it with your fingers. And that's showing 49. And so then you take those numbers, heart girth times heart girth times length, divided by 400. And depending on the pig, it should give you within 10 pounds. If it's an extra thick, meaty pig, it may be reading a little light, but even then it gives you a better idea at guessing if you're new to this, and if there's still any um, question you could possibly, back when I was younger, I'd take some, and sometimes the weight would really surprise me. But, um, Sometimes it would be right on. Then this is just another look at the top line of the gill. You can see how wide she is, how flat. Big butt, big shoulders. If we go around here, you can kind of see like a little bit of a double chin there. Here's the bigger one. You can see how wide she is. And once again, if we were selling these for market hogs, they would have sold a couple weeks ago. Because they're definitely big enough. Most places seem to be aiming for a market hog like 240 to 260. Um, around here, a little bit heavier than that does better. The past two groups we sold, one group averaged 300, the other group um, 290, and they're selling very well. People like the extra fat. But yeah, once your pig has reached butchering weight, it'll just looks like such a tank. She's just a beautiful, big-bodied gelt. This one a little bit smaller. And the gilts are, this is bedding from last winter. We had the sheep in here. So they're just rooting around for little bits of corn or whatever. And you can see the steam rise because the bedding's still composting. And that's why they're in this pen, is to loosen up the bedding so it's easier to, for us to scoop it out.
and get a better look at the pig we just measured. You can see how full our hindquarters are, how big our shoulders are, how she's super flat across the back. And she almost looks like if you look right here, it's like she's got a double chin.